You guys hungry? Okay, all right, let's eat. We'll put a little sprinkle of treat inside, just to make it extra yummy. It's coming, it's coming. There you go, queen. And there you go, timid queen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I am, I'm incredibly, I guess groggy is the word that I would use right now. I had a really rough night sleeping last night. I had a horrible back pain that just made it impossible to like get into a comfortable enough position to sleep and so even though i was like actually in bed for a long enough time to get good sleep i don't think i actually slept <laughs> so i think today is just one of those days where before i try attempt to do anything we're we're going to starbucks let's go all right enjoy your breakfast my queens i'm going to get mine hi can i get a tall hot latte and an uh everything bagel toasted with cream cheese and a classic oatmeal and an impossible breakfast sandwich with no egg awesome thank you have a I say? Morning. Good morning. All right, I have for you my husband oatmeal. This is my impossible breakfast sandwich and your bagel. How's work going so far today? Great. Back Good? meeting. Okay, bye. <laughs> you are on a very different pace than me. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> sometimes I get decaf, sometimes I get half calf. Today we went full calf. Also, this impossible breakfast sandwich, it doesn't look very appetizing, but it is delicious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, I know I've literally had like two sips of coffee and one bite of my breakfast sandwich, but I feel like this is gonna be what I need to get into the day. We can do a Peloton ride, we can get some work done. I have I have some sponsored Instagram stories I have to film today as well, so I wanna get that done. And Oh, oh, ooh. Totally forgot. Tonight, Steven and I are gonna go actually like in store and look at strollers. So that's gonna be a really fun adventure. I've been really looking forward to that. I was feeling a little down when I woke up so tired, but you know what? I think I think we got it. We're gonna we're gonna do today. It's gonna happen. All right, here we go. We are doing Robin's prenatal hit class. Bella, why are you just watching me? <laughs> All right, I am showered and dressed. Here is my outfit of the day today. Honestly, it kind of looks like something that my mom would have dressed me in in kindergarten, but that kind of makes me love it even more. <laughs> this little rainbow sweater is from Hollister, and then this denim dress, I think, is it called a pinafore? It's from ASOS Maternity, so lots of room for the bump, which is really nice. And it even has pockets, just makes me love it a little bit more. <laughs> so I've actually already been working over on my computer for a couple hours now, but uh, I'm just gonna get right back to it, working on my outline for that TikTok aesthetics video that I am in the process of filming, working on the outline for the small business haul that I'll be filming in like two weeks or a week and a half, and also I need to edit a vlog. So we need to get all that done before I have a call at three o'clock, so let's get back to it. Okay, so I am just about to hop on my call. I am so freaking excited for this call. Basically, it is the brainstorming session for my recreating celebrity maternity photos video that we're not even gonna be shooting until April, but um, with these kind of videos, it always takes a ton of planning and brainstorming and collaboration. So the call is me and my producer, Jess, and then the photographer, Tony. So I'm just excited to brainstorm and to get going on this video. It's gonna be so cool. And to talk to Tony and Jess, and I've missed that like collaborative aspect of, of my channel and of making videos because it's just been so different with COVID. And even the way we're doing this recreating maternity photos video is gonna be very, very different than the previous ones because we are changing a lot of the way that we do things because of COVID. But still, I'm just so, I'm so excited. Okay, I need, I need to hop on this call one sec. All right, so we just finished our meeting. Tony's here and Jess. Oh <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my I'm so pumped, guys. I I'm, I'm, I can't wait. It's honestly. gonna it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be a really great shoot. Just you guys wait. Just you wait. Wait till wait. May, <laughs> but it'll be here eventually. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That was so great. I'm so excited about this video. We got a lot done and then we have our next call two weeks from now where we will be going through the very detailed equipment list and wardrobe and prop list. So very exciting, very much looking forward to this. So my next thing that I was supposed to do was film some sponsored Instagram stories, but actually one of the packages of the stuff that I was gonna be trying on in the Instagram stories isn't arriving until tonight. So I think I'm just gonna film all of 
bit tomorrow, which is actually good because I did not finish everything that I wanted to finish before this meeting. So I can spend the next like hour and a half wrapping that up before Steven and I head to the baby store. So we're gonna be leaving in just a couple minutes here, but I wanted, before we go, I wanted to sit down and just have a little chat with you guys about, about a couple of things, but mostly about my baby shower. So today, like I said, we are gonna go look at the stroller that we think we wanna get. We've done a lot of research and we're pretty sure this is the one that we want, but because this is such a big purchase, we wanted to go see it in person in store first, like pick it up, see how heavy it is, push it around. A lot of the other baby stuff we've been buying online because of COVID, but this was the one thing where we were like, okay, we should go, we should go try it. First. And as we've kind of been going through this process of prepping for baby and buying stuff for her, I've seen a lot of comments asking like, oh, you know, you should wait to buy those things until after your baby shower and just questions about the baby shower and, and that kind of thing. And the thing is because of the pandemic, we have decided to not have a baby shower. For a while, like at the beginning of my pregnancy, I was kind of like, oh, you know, that's so far off. I'll cross that bridge when we come to it. You know, who knows the pandemic could be over by the time baby's here. Like we don't we don't know how things are gonna change. And while I am very, very hopeful with, you know, the vaccine coming out and cases going down and it seems like there is an end in sight, at least where we live, it does not seem like that end is gonna be before baby's born. And there's no way that I would put my family and my friends and myself and my baby at risk by having an in-person shower during the pandemic. And what I've seen a lot of people doing to safely have a baby shower during the pandemic is like Zoom showers and drive-by showers. And I think it's really cool that people are, you know, finding fulfillment out of that and still getting to have a baby shower in some sense. And I considered that, but when I really thought about it, for me, I, I honestly just think that would make me more sad about what I'm missing out on. Like the big appeal for me and the thing I've always imagined for the baby shower is like getting together with all my family and friends and hugging everyone and seeing everyone and like being together physically. And so I realized just for me personally, I would rather not have a baby shower than have like a, a modified kind of virtual pandemic one. And so instead what we've decided is that whenever the pandemic is over and it's safe to get together with people again in person, whether that is three months after the baby's born or a year after the baby's born, like whenever that is, I wanna do what, I think I've heard it called a sip and see, but basically like a, a baby shower party get together after the baby's already born, where everyone can get together and celebrate and meet baby girl. And so I'm I'm really looking forward to that. But basically that that is why we're buying all of the baby stuff ourselves. I've also seen some very sweet comments from you guys asking if you can send something for baby girl or that you want to get something for her. And that is so sweet. Like I, I sincerely appreciate the sentiment, but honestly, we don't need anything. Your support and just being here and watching is the biggest gift for us. And we are in an incredibly privileged position. So what I would say is if you still feel like you want to give something, give to a charity that supports women and children and new moms. I will have two charities linked in the description that I personally love and think are doing really, really amazing work. Every Mother Counts and the Homeless Prenatal Program, both of those organizations are supporting mothers and children in different ways, providing them with essential maternal care and housing among other things. Steven and I are donating $1,000 to each of those organizations and I would love if you would join us in donating just whatever you can. I think if we could fundraise together to support new moms who are needing those resources, that would be that would be like the best celebration of pregnancy and birth, really the best the best way that I would wanna celebrate. But yeah, links for Every Mother Counts and the Homeless Prenatal Program in the description. Please check them out, donate whatever you can, and uh, I'm excited to check out some strollers. So let's, where, where are we going again? All right, so we decided to come to Nordstrom instead of the other place we're thinking of going was Bye Bye Baby. Both stores carry the stroller that we were thinking we want, which is the Up A Baby Vista 2. But Nordstrom carries another stroller that was a high contender for us and Bye Bye Baby doesn't. So we figured it'd be better to come here so that we can compare and make sure, make sure we make the right choice. <laughs> this is the Vista Cruise. This is the, yeah, Up A Baby Vista V2. So what's cool is that we're just getting the one seat. Well, we think we're gonna get the one seat version, but it's also convertible to become a two seater, so. Well, there's no one seat version, right? Well, the, so the second seat is just an adapter that you have right, to buy. Right, right. We would only be using one seat. We're only getting 
the, the package with one seat. The package we're looking for, it comes with a bassinet, a seat, and a infant car seat. So then, I, yeah, you can pop that out and pop in the bassinet attachment, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, and what I like about the Vista is it's just so much more like versatile. The seat can face forward or back. You can add that second seat is if- It cannot be the same, it can't be said for this one? Uh, no, I don't believe so. And you definitely, they don't have a second seat that you can add. If we were to have a second when the first is still using the stroller, we wouldn't have to get a double stroller. We could just yeah. adapt the one that we have. So you have that. Does that seem worth it? Or that, okay. I think that's fine. As an engineer, I want things rock solid. <laughs> definitely easy. Yeah, and this is the base that would be in the car and we could get a base for your car and for my car so we don't have to move them if we wanted yep car seats facing the other way yeah there you go there you go very nice do you like the way it pushes yeah that's definitely good it's nice and smooth do you want to try folding it up and carrying it and see how heavy it is with the seat still in it one of the downsides with this one is supposed to be that it is a little bit heavy there's like a thing that's supposed to like pinch it together, but it's broken. Yeah. <laughs> On the display one, they said it's broken. Yeah. How heavy? I don't know, it's heavy and bulky, but it's my first time ever carrying it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the other one that we had been considering. This is the Tavo Next. This is, I believe, what Kenzie has. Kenzie, Kenzie and Skylar have the same one. All right, so we decided that we would take a stroll through the baby clothes and mull it over. We're thinking we're almost definitely gonna go with the Upper Baby Vista, yeah. but not 100% sure if we wanna buy it tonight or wait until we can go to Bye Bye Baby and test like one, because the floor model here is a little bit broken, but we're gonna stroll through the baby clothes and think. Yeah. <laughs> they have so many cute things. Look at this little, look at this little cardigan. Oh, this is adorable. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Steven insisted on carrying it instead of using the dolly. So I'm doing the heavy lifting here, clearly. <laughs> Good job, babe. Think it'll close? Ah, I think so. You can also just put the row of seats down. Yeah. Let's go home. High five. That was a big purchase, big day. Wow. <laughs> that was so, it wasn't that it was heavy. As of just how bulky it was. Yeah. So as you guys saw, a little sweaty from it. <laughs> we got. We ended up getting the Vista 2. Yes, the Uppa Baby Vista V2. It wasn't as easy of a decision as I expected. The the Nuna Rava, I or Ravo, I'm not sure which. Bravo. I think we had a couple people who like really had a lot of experience with both, and they leaned to the Vista. So we, we kind of leaned into that. So it was like. You know, some people have tried both and they like the Vista, so both are such great strollers. We'll, we'll kind of lean into the Vista too, and it was kind of an easy decision. It really, the takeaway was that you could not mess up. Yeah, they were both great strollers. <laughs> and another thing is, Nordstrom has such a good return policy. We can take it home, set it up, push it around the house, and if we change our mind, we can always go back and exchange it. So yeah. I think the plan is to head home. Are you going? Are we going to put it together tonight during the Bachelor? Mm, no. Uh oh. <laughs> like, I kind of wanted to. I don't know. Maybe we'll put it together tonight. Maybe another night. But we're going to head home, watch The Bachelor. And I'm really excited that we got our <laughs> stroller and our car seat figured out. Because we got the Up a Baby Mesa that uh, can attach to the Vista V2 as well. Yeah. So, exciting things. All right, let's go home. Let's go. So, we've got The Bachelor on TV. It's currently a commercial, though. And we are going to put together our stroller. Or try. Try, at least. Attempt. Here. <laughs> also, left-handed means scissors suck. Why have we never gotten left-handed scissors for you? Because I've just struggled my whole life, so I plan on doing it. Well, maybe that's what I can get you for your birthday next week. <laughs> your first pair of left-handed scissors in your whole life. 28th birthday. Razor blades work for everyone. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, look at that. Prime that is a, a big ol' instruction manual. It's like a Lego set. Perfect for Steven. <laughs> and we're gonna save all the packaging. Just in case we wanna return. Okay, just make sure there's nothing here we need. <gasps> a bag. I imagine that's the bassinet. Yeah, I think it is. You guys wanna give it a sniff? No sniff thanks. of approval? This looks like a stroller. <laughs> Cardboard insert. <laughs> this looks like a box of wheels. More goodies. Box one. Box two. Oh, there's stuff in that one. Box two. Bella, Bella, are you trying to get to your toys, honey? Here, I'll bring the toys to you, good girl. There you go. Last but not least, 
That's you not satisfied with your toy selection? Oh, how about this one? You like that one? Go get it. Good girl. Alrighty. Oh, bachelor's back on. Should we put it together? Well, no. You can play it, and then I will go through this and put it together while I watch it. Sure. Yeah. All right. So we'll check in with you guys. Next commercial break. Yeah. Next commercial break. Ooh. No hands. <laughs> that was a solid flick too. You got it. Yeah, this feels way nicer than the demo one. They said the floor model that they had, they've had for three and a half years, so it was definitely a little dinged up. The the clip for the wheels didn't work. It's my new backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Oh. <laughs> That's one way to scare the dogs. There's not a baby in there yet. <laughs> How do you fold that guy? <laughs> so press the buttons the on the one? side. Yep, the side ones. No. Oh, because now there's a clip. Yes. It's right here. There ah. you go. Ah. And then you go. There you go. Oh, oh, Heather. Oh, bachelor's on. I thought there was going to be a lot more assembly. Like yeah. the pieces are put together. Nice. Those. You could do that. Nice. And then maybe. Ooh. Okay. Nice. And then unzip the the little canopy. Boop. Boop. Nice. Put on your dad hat. Metaphorical, of course. <laughs> All right, now flip the seat so it's facing you. What does this button do? Oh, Ooh, you get your extender. What? Uh, it's an extender. Right, what would you say? That? I said, do you want to flip the seat so it's facing you? Oh, sure. Please. Oh, she literally took like every toy out of the basket. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby facing me. Nice. And does this like recline differently? Well, you can find out all about that in the manual. Yeah, I got a lot. There's like a bajillion pages of safety warnings. Fun fact about Steven, he reads every manual for everything. He read the entire manual for his car, for my car. Uh, the manual is important, you know. It's, uh, it's all the complaints we have of technology in the world. Read the manual. Any little sliver of uncertainty I had after trying the store model, completely gone trying it at home now. Bella, that is not your food bowl. I mean, it's empty, so go ahead. Go off, queen. This one feels a million times nicer than the one in store, which makes sense because the one in store was older, but this feels fan freaking tastic Super, super happy with our purchase. All right, Steven's gonna swap it for the bassinet now. Oh, Okay, I don't know why, but with the bassinet attachment, it just looks so cute. I can get some nice bay rings on this one. <laughs> nice. Baby laying bassinet, see the world. See it? Yeah. Sometimes when you walk, you, just, you need a moment of alone time. <laughs> Unlash the little piece. Pull your triggers and go. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you feel now that we have it home and set up? Easy set up. It's, I like it because it's hard to like mess up when you put the mouse in. Yeah. It's, everything's like color coded. There's like green, red. It's very. I guess the hard part is like making those little mistakes, and it makes it makes it hard to make little mistakes. Yeah. Anyone try it? Yeah. All right. You gotta fold it up. Put it on the couch. Okay. See, and then it just drops. And then there. Yep, it's locked. So you always be careful. And pinch. into the car. Always be careful pinching your fingers still while we learn. All right, now take it out and unfold. All right, on the clip. So be careful, don't pinch your no pinching fingers. And I'm then, not as smooth at this as you. And then we go, whoop bam! Whoop bam! Did I do it? Yeah, I got a bad angle, but good job. It looks <laughs> like a freaking like airport cart thing. And then we're gonna take our little seat. So right, this seat wouldn't get used for a hot minute. I think around three months. Would yeah. Months using it. And then you got the brake down by your right foot, and then you got brakes on the front. Oh boy, oh boy! Next stop, the zoo, baby. Woohoo! We're going to Disneyland. Come on, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're actually missing bachelors. So we should get <laughs> yeah, back. we gotta get back to it. So that is gonna be it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out the donation links in the description, and we will see you in the next vlog. Bye.